Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. Thanksgiving in the Old West. Let's talk about it. In 1863, President Abraham Lincoln proclaimed that Americans would recognize Thanksgiving on every third Thursday in November. In 1877, San Quentin Prison celebrated Thanksgiving by decorating and having a dance. Being that all the convicts were male, four of them dressed in borrowed ladies' attire for the dances. They had an enormous feast, followed by pies and cakes. But when they brought out the whipped cream, the four convicts dressed as women ran back to their cells and locked themselves in. Okay, I made that last part up. Sorry. Given that in some busy mining and cattle towns, the citizens frequently ate out in lieu of cooking. Restaurants outdid themselves for Thanksgiving. One historic menu offered blue point oysters, little neck clams, calf brains, buffalo tongue, red snapper, black bass, salmon, capon, turkey, duck, ribs of beef, field quail stuffed with truffles, elk, squirrel, possum, shrimp, pompano, asparagus, artichokes, puddings, pies, cakes, ice cream, assorted cheeses, and the kitchen sink. The first recorded Thanksgiving in Bannock, Montana took place in 1863. The town sheriff ordered a turkey to be freighted up from Utah, which cost him $40 in gold. It was all to impress a powerful political family who was traveling in the territory. Impressed they were, for the wife wrote later that their Thanksgiving meal in that humble rustic cabin was as fine and beautifully prepared as any meal she'd ever enjoyed in New York City's finest restaurants. Some weeks later, their gracious host, Sheriff Henry Plummer, was hanged by a vigilance committee for running a malicious outlaw gang that threatened the community. Henry was sentenced to hang by none other than Wilbur Sanders, his Thanksgiving Day guest. How's that for irony? His last meal was leftover turkey sandwich with cranberry sauce. This is just stupid. In my hometown of Tucson, a citizen named George Hand kept a few journals of his life in the frontier. He ran a saloon from 1875 to 1878 and later worked at the courthouse. Oddly, in the 1870s, he makes absolutely no mention of Thanksgiving. However, in 1882, he wrote, All the offices are closed being a holiday. Colonel Marsh came to see me today. Our turkey being cooked by 340, we proceeded to eat it. Well, it would appear that some territories in the West may not have hopped on the Thanksgiving bandwagon as quickly as Montana did. Nowadays, Americans tend to celebrate back at the old homestead to spend time with family. People will wait in airports and sit in hours of traffic just to have togetherness with their loved ones. And nothing says togetherness like an 8,000 calorie meal. Well, that's it for Thanksgiving in the Old West. Hope you learned something. Dan, how was your Thanksgiving? It was good. I ate a little bit of everything, but I didn't eat everything. Good. How was yours? Mine was good. Okay. Guys, hey, the channel's up to a thousand subscribers. Whoa. Over a thousand. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, we, we gotta give something. Yeah, away. yeah, we do, we do. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't have anything. Search your pockets. Try to find yeah. something. Oh, something to give away. Anything? Yeah. Ooh, I got a uh, 45 long Colt dummy shell for a for a belt. That'll be good. I got a cigar wrapper. Okay. Oh, wait. Can't give away a cigar wrapper. It's well, weird. Well, sure you can. Got anything else? Oh, I got some Ghost Rider money. Oh, good. Ghost Rider money. That's good. Okay. Anything? Anything? Come on. I got some uh, shotgun shell Christmas ornaments. <laughs> Why do you have shotgun shells with Christmas tree ornaments? Why, why wouldn't you, Dan? Because you shoot your eye out. Okay. All right. You know what? Throw it all in the hat. Throw it all in the hat. Oh, I have one more thing. I have a clay vintage poker chip. That'll be good. Yeah. All right. Okay, so in order to win, you got to leave a comment in the comment field. Yeah. And that comment's got to be, um... Ho, ho, ho. No, that's too easy. What else you got? Inflatable sheep. Inflatable sheep. <laughs> I like it. Okay, inflatable sheep it is. Please like, share, and subscribe. And, and we'll, we'll see, see you on down, down the, the trail. trail. Come on. We're here to help.